What's up guys, how's everyone doing? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys 20 free iOS 14.3 compatible jailbreak tweaks you can install right now. Of course, all of the repos for the tweaks talked about in today's video and the timestamps will be down below in the description. All right guys, let's get started. In regular iOS, if you try deleting words, it's not as quick as it could be. This is where a delete cut comes in. Just hold the shift button and the delete button becomes red and you can delete entire words at a time. With drag spring, you can pull down on your settings page to respring your device. With better CCXI, you can redesign your control center view. This looks different and it looks pretty cool. 5Doc13 lets you place five icons in your dock instead of the default, which is four. Snowboard is a theming platform for your device. You can change things like the individual theme, or if you want to go into the settings and change whether icons are circular or square, you can do that as well. Folded lets you redesign the view of your folders. Bounce it gives you different bouncy-like effects with different animations on your device. Opening and closing apps, things like that, it's going to have a little bounce effect. Gestures 10S lets you have the iPhone 10 style gestures on non-supported devices. It's always nice to have this tweak, especially for newer devices that don't have access to these gestures because they have a home button. It makes you feel like you're using a modern device. With Color My Dock, simply double tap on your dock and you get a color picker and you can just go and pick whatever color you want, hit the X and you can see changes apply automatically. I don't know what it is about this tweak, but it's simple and I really like it. With vinyl, you can change the look and feel of your now playing interface on iOS. Here I can scrub through the bottom bar and I can scrub through the song and then the top bar is our volume so I can turn the song up and down. Text time does exactly what it sounds like and it replaces the regular numbers that you would see as your time on your lock screen with words. Again, looks pretty clean. With sorting swipe, if you swipe up on your home screen, you now have the option to sort by alphabetical order and things like that. I can go and sort by badge count. I can sort by hue of the icons. And if I wanna go back to how it was before, I could just press load saved layout and those changes take effect and it's back to normal. One of the big highlight features of iOS 14, aside from widgets, was this new app library that kind of was like an app launcher. There might be some people that don't like it though. With this tweak app library disabler, you can see it completely gets rid of my app library. With butterfly effect, you can see there's butterflies flying on your home screen and this also applies on the lock screen as well. There's also a tweak here, which I'm sure you noticed called not an imposter and it brings among us characters to your device as well. So it does the exact same thing. It's just among us styled. Speaking of among us, this tweak is awesome. This tweak gives you an Among Us styled lock screen. And if you enter your password in wrong, I don't play Among Us very much, but I think this is really cool. 6LS brings back the iOS 6 style lock screen. It's also pretty cool too, because if you plug your device in, it comes with a familiar iOS 6 chime. You can also slide to unlock, and once you actually go ahead and unlock your device, that familiar unlock sound is back. Just like the old iOS 6 lock screen, there's a camera grabber and it works just as expected. Anime My Badges is a really cool tweak that animates icon badges. This heartbeat one I think looks the best, but there's also other ones like transition from top and transition from right. And while this does look pretty cool, I think heartbeating looks the best. With adaptive dark mode, depending on how your brightness is, dark mode will adapt on the fly and turn on and off. If you put your brightness all the way up, dark mode is going to turn off, but if you turn your brightness down, dark mode is going to go on. With Be Gone, you can quickly get rid of your badge notifications just by tapping on clear notification. All right, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button. Also, go ahead and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one, guys. Peace.